Truly a remarkable moment for a family when a toddler's hearing is restored, all thanks to modern science and medicine. A new type of cochlear implant making it possible for a child to hear his parents' voices again. Any trip to the hospital brings anxiety, but this visit to University of Colorado Hospital was especially nerve-wracking for Eric and Jamie Fries. He's not hearing or feeling anything. It all started when their little boy, Nathan, lost his hearing, all of it, at just a few months old. It was a hard day, <laughs> for sure. We uh, didn't really expect to come into an appointment saying that our son's hearing was completely gone. Immediately, mom and dad accepted that challenge head on. They looked for options and they wound up here at the hospital. Just a few weeks ago, Nathan had a cochlear implant surgically installed by doctors. Okay, are we ready? It's a newer, thinner implant than those used in the past on other patients, an ideal size for an infant. Job. Surrounded by audiologists, today's first task to adjust the settings before they turn on the microphone. That will allow their baby boy to hear once again. <laughs> it's clear that he's reacting to something unfamiliar, but the true test comes down the hall. All right, buddy. When the moment mom and dad have waited for and worried over finally happens. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Nathan. The sound of his parents' voices, something completely unfamiliar to Nathan. There's your car. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> yeah. Hi, honey. And it's music to the ears of Jamie and Eric Freeze. Something you always want to hear, you know, is see your kids' reactions to your voices. So it's a wonderful feeling. This is amazing to be able to see. That is so great. Doctors say there's some risk involved to this, but it's a small percentage of people with hearing loss that can benefit from surgery to receive the cochlear implant.